guys, today I'm going to show you how to shoot 50 frames a second in raw video on any Canon DSLR. Okay guys, um, to start off with, I'm going to assume you have Magic Lantern already installed on your camera. If you don't, I'm going to put a link to my video on one of the cards in the corner. Um, also, the link will be in the description below. So, to start off with, just turn your camera on. And set the camera on to movie mode, so it's by hitting that switch. And then press menu. So once you're in menu, go over to the movie record size and select 720p 50 frame you want low compression so that's all i so select that and then close off there okay now if you press the trash icon you get the magic lantern menus and go over to the modules tab which is here and scroll down to the bottom where you'll see mov record.mo raw video version 2.0 now select that one um, then select the one below it called mlvsnd.mo, that's to allow sound, so if you want sound select that. Um, also select mlv underscore play, that will let you watch the raw videos back in the camera, it's handy to have on. So, oops, not sure what happened there, so yep, turn that one on. Right, so now you have to turn the camera off, so turn it off, wait a couple seconds until it's completely off and then turn it back on. Press the rubbish icon again, and you'll see the modules have now loaded. So if you go over to the um, movie menu, uh, you'll see an option here called raw video. It will be grayed out initially, so just click on that. Um, and then press the Q button, and now you go into the menu of the raw video settings. So now you want to go into resolution. Um, you kind of want to have the best quality. Now, the problem with having the best quality is it means the camera can't continuously record because it's just too much information for the camera to write onto your SD card. No matter what speed SD card you have, you're going to be limited by the camera's ability to write. So what I do, I set it on 1920. It says it isn't possible, but I do max at 1824. So select that. Now go to aspect ratio and enter there. I like to use 16 by 9. Um, it's just my preferred size. So select that. And you're going to notice at the bottom, it says uh, stretch by 1.67 times to get um, 1824 times 1026. So you're going to have to make a note of that second number, the second number's there. So just remember that. Um, it will be handy to remember when you come into the post side of things. So now that's it basically. Um, if you want sound, go over to the sounds here and turn it on. I don't, so that's fine. Um, and yes, you're good to go. Um, and that's it, so get out there and shoot some content. Okay, so once you have your footage, you're going to need a program called MLV Mystic. Now, this is free. Um, I'll put a link in the description to where you can get it from. You can choose either between the Mac and the Windows version. Um, once you've got it and installed it and got it running, it should look like this. So, what you're going to need to do is put your SD card into the computer um, and click on Add. Navigate to the files, they've been DCIM, 100 Canon, and select all the files you want to uh, work with. I've done this already, so you would just press open. Uh, and then set the destination. I'm going to choose a desktop for this. Let's press choose. And that's it, and hit convert. And it takes a couple minutes, let it run through. And then once it's done, you should basically have a folder with a whole load of. Um, images in. Now each image represents each each frame, so basically each frame is now a raw DNG file, as you can see from here. So now you need to open uh, Adobe After Effects. Now once you get to this page here, um, go to File, Import File, again navigate to where the um, where your files are, so once you have all your files, just select them all by pressing um, Ctrl or CMD on a Mac, A, and that's select them all, and press Options here, and tick this box here. Now press Open. Now this will open the Camera Raw um, box, and this basically allows you to adjust all the images. 
Um, so you can play with the exposure, you can play with the contrast, just get the images to how, how you want them to look. Um, obviously you can see shooting raw, the dynamic range is way, way more improved. Um, so yep, get it to how you want it to be, and then just press OK. And then you'll have this one here, so right click on this, and press interpret footage and click main. It says frames a second, change this to 50 as you filmed in 50, uh, and just hit enter. Now you need to go new, oh sorry, no, you press CMD or control new, and then this window will come up. Now this is where you need to make some little adjustments. These numbers will be different. So you have to look back at what your camera originally said um, when you chose your, ratio, your um, yeah, resolution and aspect ratio and enter in those details here. And the number here should match up to the ratio you chose on your camera. Once you've done that, make sure this is also set to 50 and just press OK. And you'll get this box here. Um, so what you have to do now is just drag this footage onto here or lock in place in the middle. Um, and then you'll see your footage. It looks very strangely stretched. So all you have to do is just grab the edge here, pull it so it's just at the top like that. Perfect. Um, and then make sure, yeah, make sure you click on that, press file, press export, and add to render queue. Um, this, you can leave all this alone, this is fine. Just choose the destination you want to go. So I'm gonna choose my desktop, press save and then just hit render. This will take a few minutes depending on the size of the footage and the power of your PC. Okay, so once the video has finished rendering, if you go to your um, video editing software of choice, I use Final Cut Pro, and import the footage. My one is there, just import that as you normally would. Uh, once it's in, drag it to your timeline, and you see the footage is perfect. If I prove to you that it all works, if you just slow it down, half speed, there you go. It's all in slow motion, so perfect. Thanks for watching guys, and I hope that helped. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below, and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Remember to like the video and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.